Hi, everybody. So the purpose of this particular video is going to be to discuss how to put your embalming fluids in the right place in relationship to the primary dilution factor calculation. In this first one, we're going to be solving for VB or the volume of arterial fluid from your bottle. So let's start with potential elements of a solution. We have our calculation here at the top, which of course we know um, the CB stands for the index of the arterial fluid that you've chosen. The VB, which stands for the volume of arterial fluid that you are going to use. The CT, which stands for the uh, solution strength and VT, which is the total volume of everything that goes into your tank. Down here at the bottom, we have some potential fluids to go into your tank. We have a arterial fluid, is called introfiant. We have proflow, and we have restorative, and we have, of course, water, all right? And so here's the problem, though. Where does everything go? Well, the first thing that you want to do is you're going to want to take a look at all of your potential fluids that you're putting in there and ask yourself a question. Does it have an index? If the answer is yes, then you are going to want to um, use it to calculate your CB and then you will add whatever that volume is to your total volume, all right? Now, if the answer is no, then all you have to do is include it in your total volume. So let's take a look at the fluids that we have here. First off, we have interfiant. Does interfiant have an index? Yes, it does. Interfiant is an arterial fluid that has an index of 30. All right, so where does it go then? Well, we have to put it in our CT because we know that it has an index of 30 and that's where this belongs. And then we are going to add it to our total volume. However, comma, look at this. We don't know how much to add to our total volume yet. And we won't know that until we calculate the formula. Next fluid on deck is ProFlow. Does ProFlow have an index? The answer to that question is no. It's just a supplemental fluid, that's it. Does not have an index. So the only place that it belongs is in our total volume. So this is a 16 ounce bottle. So are we going to add 16 ounces to our total volume? Next, we're going to look at our other fluid, which is restorative. Does restorative have an index? Nope, it's a supplemental fluid. So again, this is just going to be added to our total volume. It is 16 ounces, so we're going to add 16 ounces to our total volume. Now, does water have an index? Of course not, right? We know that water doesn't contain formaldehyde. It is a solvent for us to use to dilute our arterial fluid. So we are going to go ahead and add that to our total volume as well. However, look at this, another question mark, all right? We don't yet know how much water we are going to add. So what we need to do next is we need to figure out how much of our total volume you are making. So one gallon is 128 ounces, two gallons is 256 ounces. This is probably the most common mix that people are going to make. And then three gallons will probably fill up your tank um, for use in, in situations you will use a lot of uh, arterial solution. So we are going to go ahead and just set our total volume at 256 ounces. Now, even still, before we know the amount of water that we are going to need, we also need to figure out how much intrafiant we are going to use, right? We need to figure out the uh, VB of intrafiant before we can do this. Because total volume is made up of our arterial fluid, like intrafiant, 
our supplemental chemicals, ProFlow and Restorative, 16 ounces of each, and then the rest will be made up of water. All right, so what do we do now? Well, we also have to set the CT, the percent of the solution we are making, this percent strength. So kind of as a baseline, 1.5 to 2% strength are dehydrated bodies. 2 to 3% usually are assigned to bodies of a normal moisture content, or and 3% or higher are for bodies that are edema, decomposition, or other delayed embalming situations. So based on one of the choices that we took for our supplemental fluids, which is restorative, Restorative is a humectant, so we're going to guess that the body is either dehydrated or of basic normal moisture. Restorative is a supplemental fluid that we can, can be used in both cases. So now let's look at our equation. We have our 30 index from our interfiant. We have, a, have set a solution strength of 2%. And then we have a total volume that will be made up of whatever our VB of Interfiant turns out to be. One 16 ounce bottle of ProFlow, one 16 ounce bottle of Restorative, and the rest will be made up of water. So, as we discussed before, we're going to determine the amount of total solution that we'd like to make. One gallon, good for children, perhaps if you're going to do a second injection. Two gallons, most common amount, is good for most people. And three gallons are good for autopsies or cases requiring a lot of fluid. So here we are. We have our 30 index for our CT. We have uh, We have 2% for our CT. We have our um, 256 for our VT because we're going to set it for two gallons and that VT will be made up of the amount of arterial fluid. We have the amount of 16 ounces supplemental fluid in ProFlow. 16 ounces supplemental fluid in restorative and then the rest will be made out of water. So the next thing to do is to calculate for the VB. So we can add that to our total volume. So we will set up our equation with 30 index. VB is a question mark. Our CT is 2% and our VT is 256. We will combine our uh, CB and VB together, and we will also multiply 2% by 256 to arrive at 512. Then to separate the um, variable here away from the 30, we will divide both sides by 30 and arrive at a VB of 17 ounces. So now, we have 30 index fluid. We know that we are going to need 17 ounces of that 30 index fluid to create a 2% solution strength in 256 ounces in our total volume. However, we still don't know how much water we're going to need. So how do we figure that out? Well, we know that 256 ounces is made up of 17 ounces of arterial fluid, 16 ounces of ProFlow, 16 ounces of restorative, and we don't know yet of how much of water. So we're going to simply subtract these amounts from 256. 
So we will subtract 17 ounces from 256. We will subtract 16 ounces from 256. We will subtract another 16 ounces from 256 to arrive at the remaining amount of water, 207 ounces. So now we know where all our fluid goes. We know that we have 17 ounces of arterial fluid to create a 2% solution strength and our total volume that is going to meet up of 17 ounces of arterial fluid, 16 ounces of proflow, 16 ounces of restorative, and 207 ounces of water. Huzzah! We did it.